uplifting, refreshing, life-changing. It's Amazing Grace TV. Welcome to AJTV and thank you for joining us. We want to thank all of you praying for and supporting Amazing Grace TV Ministries International. And most of all, we want to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for His grace to us. Coming up, AGTV Ministry Spotlight. Today we're featuring Dr. Deca H. Tapscott Sr., the Senior Pastor of Faith Christian Church and International Outreach Center in Warrington, Virginia, and his wife, First Lady Dolores Tapscott. They will share a bit about their background and call into ministry in an exclusive interview with AGTV host, Pacencia Toyo. Also enjoy clips of worship services and testimonies of miracles. Stay tuned. AGTV Ministry Spotlight features highlights about ministers of the gospel and the impact of their ministries to the communities. Faith Christian Church and International Outreach Center is a faith community with a congregation of believers from multicultural background located at Warrington, Virginia. So much, Dr. Tapscott, for coming on to Amazing Grace TV. Good to be here. Wonderful. If you happen to tune in now, you notice we're in a different location. We're actually live here in Warrington, Virginia at Faith Christian Church and International Outreach Center. So please come visit if you're local. Uh, Pastor Tapscott, isn't it amazing that God called you to bring a multicultural community in Warrington, Virginia, where you grew up? I think it's very, very extraordinary and different. Um, you know, I mean, I, I don't know of a lot of um, pastors who have that call. I'm sure they are. But I thought it was a little, little different. But uh, here we are. You yes. Know? God's called us here. Yeah, in your own hometown. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. So share a little bit about your background. When did you come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ? Well, 1976. Uh, I, I, I mean, I know it very clear, very well. 1976, April. Uh, and, uh, you know, at a, at a time, a, a real crisis time in my life, <clears throat> uh, contemplating suicide uh, at home by myself and had an encounter with the Lord that transformed my life. Wow. So, Pastor Tapska, can you tell us what is the moment that the Lord called you out to actually go into ministry? Oh, I, I think, well, you know, the, the Word of God is clear that 
he sets us apart in our mother's womb. Mm -hmm. We don't understand that. We don't know that. I was 27 years old and, you know, and I had the encounter with the Lord. I, it, it, from that moment, I knew that <clears throat> I knew that there was something that God had destined me for and purposely for. I, I wouldn't have known that it was a prophetic ministry or pastoral ministry at that time. But but I knew I knew that there was something that I was destined for and set aside for. And just the dealings of God with me mm -hmm. from that moment on, uh, you know, to me, gave me some clue that there's something larger here than just being a Christian in a church. There's something larger than that. And also, too, Pastor Tapscar, you are called to the nations. Can you expound a little bit about that? It's a unique call, and it's, it's really something that uh, we, I want to expound on. What, when did that moment come where God revealed to you that you're not just called to the local body, but you're actually called to the entire world? Yeah, this was in uh, probably 1986, 87. Uh, again, uh, it had an encounter with the Lord during a time of, of, of praying and seeking the heart of God. And, you know, it was during that time that, you know, the, the, the whole transition of, of what I was doing in ministry at that time, which has just been a short time, probably about a couple of years. And it was at that time the Lord said, you know, uh, that we would be faith, Christian church and national outreach center. We would reach the world, mm -hmm. uh, you know, making it clear to us that, that, you know, our platform was to the nations. It wasn't just for a local setting or community, but to the nations. Wonderful, amen. Dr. Tapscott, can you share a little bit about the prophetic uh, fellowship of prophetic churches and ministries? Mm -hmm. Where can that be found and actually how did that become birth? Yeah, uh, the prophetic uh, um, fellowship of prophetic churches and ministries. Uh, again, this was the heart of God. And you know, God bringing together men and women of like precious faith, uh, having having a, a definite understanding of prophetic calling on their mm -hmm. life. And so we, we just decided, or I just decided, you know, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, to develop this community, this coalition of, of pastors and ministries that feel that they're called to, to, cut, to a cutting-edge prophetic ministry and to help them to uh, grow and develop, be mentored, not only in the prophetic gift in their life, but... Uh, how, how the Lord would use them in that in touching nations. Because again, uh, most of these uh, people that we're connected with in the fellowship, prophetic churches and ministries are people who also have some sense of, of, uh, of uh, you know, worldwide calling on their life, yes. mm -hmm. calling to the nations and, and being prophetic voices, whether it's through books, whether it's through music, whether it's through, you know, uh, preaching, uh, serving in whatever capacity. Yes. So, but, but, but it, it was birthed out of just people coming and saying, Pastor, you know, uh, Pastor Eric, I just really feel God wants me to connect with you uh, to learn from this prophetic gift in your life. And so we've, we've, we developed this. So it's been great. If a pastor watching this even now feels like they want to be connected to you mm -hmm. through that prophetic ministry, how would they get that information? Uh, they could, they could uh, phone us, mm -hmm. you know, at uh, area code 540-349-0178. Or they could email us at faithcc, faithcc64, 64. at aol.com. Faithcc64 at aol.com. AOL great, great. And, and what we do, you know, we, we send a packet to them that they can look over and, hey, if they feel or pray over it and they sense that this is where God wants them to be connected, then we do that. It's not, you know... It's not a, they don't pay tithes to, to the organization. Nobody gets paid through the Never organization. <laughs> uh, you know, those types of things. It's just, uh, uh, you know, simply uh, our coming together and, and, and moving in what we believe God is saying for us to move. And, you know, we're going to start doing some things, conferences for pastors, things of this nature. So, but like I said, it's embryonic. It's only a couple of years old. So we're just, we're growing, we're, we're growing as we go. Feeling it out. Feeling it out. <laughs> Walking by faith. Amen.